Now we're going to create a custom report with the get pivot data formula. And what we're going to do is reference our formula to the items that we have here. So the years 2013, 2014, the quarters, and then the regions that we have there. And we're going to paste the formulas into the empty boxes. We're going to get our totals and then our variance or delta amounts. And then we're going to use this combo box to change the variance based on our selection. So first of all, let's go and choose America's Q1 2013. So the equal sign or the plus to activate our formula. America's Q1 2013, let's click in there. Now let's go into our pivot table. So it's taking our sales data and the pivot table is A1, which is correct. Field number one is sales region, correct. Item number one is America's. And instead of having Americas there, we can actually reference it to here. Now let's press F4 three times so we can fix the columns. Now let's go to our next field, financial year, 2013. Same thing, get rid of it. And let's get the reference in there. Now let's press F4 twice so we can fix the rows. And then we have field three and item three. Get rid of that. Again, reference it in there and press F4 twice so we can fix the rows. Now press enter and we get the amount 652159, which is there. What we're gonna do now is drag this down to get our values. And you can see they match in here. Now sometimes your formula may not work and it happens sometime when, example, you have some leading or trailing spaces. So let's double click in there and put in our space and press enter, we'll get a reference. So sometimes when you copying and pasting text or values, make sure that there are no leading spaces. Control Z to go back. Okay, so let's drag this across in there. And we'll have our values there, Control copy, and then Control V. So we have our totals, we have our totals there, and we have our variance there. So quick and simple, in a matter of minutes, we've created our own custom report with our own metrics, and we can extend this to add some more metrics at the bottom if we like. Now, if our data changes, then this will get updated as well. So let's go back to our data source and change America's Q1 2013. Let's change a value so we can see if it gets picked up here. So data table, we're in America's 2013 Q1. And let's put in a, a big value, like a million dollars. We'll go back. So this will get updated here when we refresh our pivot table. Right click, refresh, and you see that automatically gets updated. Now finally, we've put in here our metric, which is the variance. And what I've done here is I put in a, a form control from the developer tab. So I went in there and pressed insert form control. I chose the combo box and I placed that in there. And then if I right click in there under format control, the input range is this here. So it's Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4 total. The cell link is there. So when Q1 is chosen, it'll be number one. When Q2 is chosen, it'll be number two and so forth. And then drop down lines, I've chosen five and 3D shading. So as we change this, our values change. So what I've done is a formula in here, which is a, an index formula with a array formula. So, so what I've said is area 2014, so the, the array is in here, in blue, 2014. The column selection, I've named the range, which is number two. So in this array, it's choosing the second column, two, because I said Q2 equals two. So it's choosing the second column, and then it's doing the same thing in 2013. It's choosing the second column. So, so the second column in 2014 minus the second column in 2013, we get our value. Now, to make this work all the way down, what I did is I highlighted all the rows here, and then I press Control, Shift, and Enter to turn it into an array formula. You can see that we get the live results as we changing 
our selection. So a cool little trick there that you can do outside the pivot table. And another great reason why Get Pivot Data is fantastic because you can add things that, that you normally wouldn't be able to in your pivot table.